Now, you're going to know you're human nature somehow. It's free. It's a free test. Multiple choice questions. www.humanmatrix.com Oh yeah. Woo! Let me let me let me dig deep. So the test says that I am and who took the test before? Your brother. Who else? Very good. They say, they say, the test result says that I am ENTJ. So I am E N T J. Very interesting. My percentages, those are that I just follow as well. I am, no, it's like 46%. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm for especially when it's 
too bad. Woo! So I'm trying to get that behind. You may be the smartest in the room, but because your thoughts aren't shared. Way and measure. Please. Please. N and S, they see I'm 56% intuitive. Over sensing. So it's I that's all. E, extrovert. I, it's in the same traits. It's yin and yang. S and N. They see I'm, I'm 56% intuitive. Who knows what intuitive is? Who wants to take a stab? What? I I can't. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you hear? Know? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I I'm. I'm. It was crazy. It was crazy. 
I need to be comfortable in my... Let's take an inverse picture. No, I'm just thinking of this. I'm just going to paint this picture. Imagine if I came... We already have a stick to you already. Imagine if I came there not prepared. I paid eighty-seven dollars for my thermal. I, my father gave me how much? Fifty dollars for nine months to go to the most expensive country, most expensive school in the world. How am I? Who said it? How am I? Come on. Come on. How am I? Good question. Good question. Good question. Good question. Good question. I went to the president. I said, look, yes, I'm here for a scholarship. I cannot afford all of these things. I just wasted my money on the, the first purchase. That's crazy. I, I have nine more months to go. Think about it. Think about it. If I was introverted in that moment, think about that. Think about that. I want you to think about it. I am not saying introversion is bad. I'm saying weigh and measure. There's a time for it. Just imagine if I was what? I split what? Nine percent of my money gone. I said no. I spoke to the president. I said, look, I'm here on a scholarship from the US National Force. I need some help. Help me out here. Please. Yes, sure, you didn't tell me that. And she when I said that, every time I went somewhere, I think I wanted to go. No problem. Join the bus. I'll take you over. For real. And these guys have everything. Go ahead. I don't know. I dismissed him. Serious, I dismissed him. He said, son of a Jay-Z again. I wanted to, wanted to really reaffirm if I knew him. I just, I, I just, I cut him out for you. He was good, you know. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> for real. So let's get back to here. You so you need. Be comfortable in your own skin. Believe. I would have run in Switzerland <laughs> if, if I did if I would come from my own skin. Or I was saying, I went in this accounting class in Switzerland. The teacher, the first said, look, if you're one of you guys are rich. He said, the issue is not that you have money. It's you need to know how to maintain it and have it and maximize your money. In my view, I was busy with finance, so that. So, okay. Interesting. I need to know the craft, the art of growing money. Yeah, because obviously the people around me have a lot of it. For real. Interesting. I came back to change first. I, I couldn't breathe the first time. The Swiss Alps. I walked up. Ooh. Uh, I'm for, I, whoever went to a high mountain the first time, uh, the air was so thin. My friend, uh, and people were like me. It was crazy. Oh my God, I came back here, dust in my face. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Oh, let's go back. It's 56%. I am 56% more of an introvert. Than so, this is how you process information. Process information. Process information. So, my wife, she's, she's a sensing type. Very, the information she gathers, it is not fact. If it's not received by the five senses, 
she doesn't make the decision. She, she, for her, it has no merit. So, for example, <laughs> I would say, Coach, no. No, that, I was about to say something like that. The World Trade Center. Okay. That was my favorite. Now, the television on TV it said XYZ. You know, this happened um, to two airlines and whatnot. Now, visually, it's what you see. It's what's being broadcast on television. That's what you go with. The masses. If you're sensing, you go with what you're what's perceived with your senses. With my intuition. I want to dig deeper. We go deeper. Well, God, is it really? Typically the ends love to overthink. We overthink. We overthink. Typically the ends, yes, a lot of conspiracy theories. Because we don't take what's given to us as faithful. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now my wife, that was a realist. She will see someone. The person acts like a crook. Yeah. Uh, honey, yeah. he's a crook. I would be like, well, let's give him a chance. I'm for Let's give him a chance. I think there's more he may. Mm, honey, yes. But a hundred. Out of a hundred times, she's hurt. With intuition, we see typically <laughs> we see the abstract. We see the abstract. Now be careful here as well. That's the way you can measure. There are sometimes <laughs> the answer is clear, cut. Let's go with it. Sometimes we tend to overthink a very simple situation and get ourselves caught up in the minutiae. Be careful. Sometimes, as a sensing, no, no problem. Sup, sir? <laughs> Sometimes, as a so, so, they say I'm the idealist, and my wife is the, the realist. I guess it, you know, we go hand in hand, you know. So, when you have to go out of the field, and when you want to make a decision, you might actually get from the basic one, 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 the basic one. Now, now, the next tier, we're going to be talking about that. Here we're talking about how we just gather it. So let's go there. So, the next few thinking, I'm 63% thinking. Oh, and first, go ahead. I'm saying this process information, process information. So, Well, typically. Typically, so yes. So, to, so, repeat that. I get way measure. Oh, way measure. I always say, leaders, we have to learn to, to strengthen your, the art of weighing and measure. I call it weighing and measure. Because, because it's, it's good to have all the information on the table. Listen, leaders, it's good to, to, to do your due diligence. And then, with the environment around you, you make decisions. Get all the information you can. You make decisions. It's good to have your gut box with teeth. Those less teeth. Sixty-three percent thing. Woo! So it's said overly rational. Overly rational. I don't use my emotion to make a decision at all. When I used to work, I used to be the CEO of a uh, startup. Uh, health company, health advisory company. 
Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay? Would you forgive me if I say this? Don't judge me. Would you forgive me? Leaders, would you forgive me what I'm about to say? It's been a while. Okay, okay. So, um, I used to look at everyone as a dollar figure. I know your worth immediately. I know how much you're bringing to the table every month. Okay. So there's a situation, again, don't do today. There's a situation where, no. Let me just give an example. As an example, this person came to work late. It's an example. Came to work late. This person said, Sir, I'm sorry. The apartment on the floor above me had a, a water leak. It came into my apartment. My apartment, I think it got flooded to a point. And I had to wait for the supermarket. The tea in me said, no, it's not me, it's not me. The tea in me said, Said, you're 45 minutes late. You just cost me $1,300. What is happening here? Okay? This happened a second time, I write you up a third time you're fucking. You kidding me? This person had a, this person had a legitimate excuse. I don't know. But it was a legitimate excuse. Sound legitimate. Steam it. The tea in me. Well, I that's, that's, that's another issue. So, but now I'm gonna touch and go here. This is another workshop regarding relationships. But I'll just put my foot in the water and come up. Being overly tea in a relationship is not really a good thing. We need to have some feeling in the relationship. Touch and go. I'm not calling any name and yet not, but you, you can't. My wife woke me up 2 o'clock in the morning. Honey, wake up, you have up. The tea in me was oh, on my tree. It's true. The tea, I didn't say it. Came to my The tea in me. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Kill this way. What? Well, yes, honey. Maybe just maybe go to the impact. Instead of feeling, share the party and logic. Yes, logic, rational, correct. Heavily based on that. But I'm saying in a sentimental relationship, no. Imagine if I told my wife. Woman, it's two o'clock in the morning. Go back to bed. Talk to me. I will. I will be in the dog. That will be. That will be a situation. That will be a situation. I said, all right, no problem. Talk to me. Woo. Two o'clock became three o'clock. Three o'clock became four o'clock. Four o'clock. It came five o'clock. When I saw the sun peeking out, I can go back to sleep. So that 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 was a that, that, yeah, that was a sleepless night. A sleepless night. <laughs> but that it's a solve the problem. I'm, I'm for real. I'm for real. We have to weigh and measure. Oh my. So leaders, if you're in a situation. Where um, you like to be a stickler. Ooh, you, you're results driven. To be okay, what happens in between? You want, you, you want to get a particular job done. Where you I am telling you. Huh. Especially as a leader. Especially as a leader. If you gotta set the example. I'm a, I'm a heavily team. I'm a heavily team. Who here? What 
Are you T or you F? I am TJ. I am TJ. Oh, so you know what I'm talking Woo! You're in for My friend, you need to wait for Eighty percent T. Oh, my friend, be careful. Oh, eighty percent T, my friend. Mama, wait and measure. People don't look at you like I'm this guy. Oh, because there's a word for people like that. Okay, be careful. Wait and measure. We and measure. Oh my God. We lead us again. Repeat with me. We and measure. Oh my God. Especially in sentimental relationships. Ooh. Sometimes if you're IT, turn that T down. And F. Sometimes in F. Ooh. You push that button, they explode. Whoa. They will emotionally asleep. What? You talk about that kid? I'm through. Whoa! You hit that sweet sweet white kid's head? What? Right? That, that's a good business man. Rush, but you got to. Can you, can you hear? Now the head. Oh, oh, this guy head. We have to hit. Let everyone hit. You have the floor. Now I said sometimes you know we can be wrong in the way of thinking, and I can give you an example of that. Something that happened to me just today. Okay. Um, you know, I live in Washington Heights. I go. You know, I had a. And that was when we were like both years ago. And they still had power and they still had everything inside of it. Okay, but after that, I stopped you know, buying, you know, rental car. I bought the car so $2,000, $2,000, $2,000. But, you know, even though you know, things, you know, still keep on happening, you know, breaking all the windows, you know, it's still little things, you know, inside of the car. And this morning, I went you know, to change my car from the phone. That side to the other side of the uh, the street clean day. And I saw that, uh, that I, my window, the passenger's rear window, was down. Oh, and there was a, there was a huge, there was a huge uh, garbage bag, you know, that covered the window, you know, snow on top of it, you know, on the other side of the And I said, what's going on? You know, what happened? When I went, you know, close to the car, and I saw that. You know, there was no window. <laughs> there was no window. And, you know, in my head what happened? Uh -oh. I started thinking. Thinking that it was the same thing, you know, that happened to me again. You know? And I said, I'm not here again, I'm the car. Because I didn't put any plastic bag, you know, in, in, in front of, uh, by the window side, you know? I said, I called 911. I was like, you know, shivering in the cold, maybe, you know, clothes to come. <laughs> Because I couldn't, I couldn't let the dog down. Okay. And uh, where the police come, uh, um, they told me, you know, what happened? I said, you know, they stole my window. <laughs> but I said, you know, there's no broken window in, inside of the dog. There's no broken window, you know, you know, in, in, in the floor, in the streets. So it seems like they took, you know, the whole window from my car. Yeah. And, uh, the police said, oh. This is weird. <laughs> he said, uh, you know something? Um, go open the door to the other side, the driver's side, and you know, try and you know, to um, to build the, uh, the window up. You know? I said, well, there's no, no window. <laughs> because, you know, I said, if the plastic bag is inside of the car and covering you know, the window, that means somebody open the door and put the plastic bag, you know? And the other police uh, said, you know, that makes sense, you know? I said, I don't know. He said, anyway, open, you know, just turn on the car and try to see if the, you know, the real the window up. And I did, and the window was <laughs> <laughs> You know, because I was thinking, because I was thinking that somebody did something wrong, 
to me. And of course, and that was the contrary. That was, I, I left the window open and somebody took a plastic bag and put it, you know, put it so that, you know, when it snowed, so that they don't like, oh, so the same I, I was about to die inside. I feel so, I don't want to say that. I got it. I got it. I got it. I would like to, I don't want to say the person, you know, and to tell the person, to thank the person, you know, before it happened, you know, and, but you, you, know, you, know, you know what's interesting there? Sometimes, especially again as leaders, sometimes we are wrong and strong. Sometimes, sometimes we are wrong and strong. We, we make a decision. We make a decision by our assessment. And we realize that uh, someone came to us with a different offer. All right, but because you're so stuck in that decision, so invested in that decision, it may be very hard for us to change track. Weigh and measure. Weigh and measure. It's a good thing that you had to do about it. Hold situation. So, F and T, decision. How do we make decisions? In a business sense, it's good. In, in, in really trying to attain your goals, yes, it's good to have logic, range, rational, it's good to lead with it. But, huh, wait, as mentioned, oh my God. T and J, who, who knows what J is? Judge. Judging. What does judging mean? Judging. What does judging mean? Does it mean I, I see that you did something wrong, I know you're a bad person, so I write you off in my book? What does judging mean? I see you. you're about to. <laughs> Go ahead. Like for instance, you see someone like with a talk and you start to make like your own perception of that person, okay. that is okay. the only Okay. Like, for instance, I can see you and be like, oh, I think he's smart. Okay. I will like, I can be like, oh, he might be bold. Like, make my own judgment based on my own opinion. Okay. Good try. Go ahead. It's like a stereotype. It's like a stereotype. Yes. Okay. Good try. But, but, in this, in judging and perceiving, we're talking how about structure. 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 It's funny. The J, P is perceiving. Yes, J is judging. Kind of threw us off. J. In judgment, so structure, structure in the outside world. So, for example, as a judging person, you're a person that you will feel really awkward and bad if you were doing something and have to leave it to do something else. If your boss says, ah, "I know that you're working two months on this project, don't do it anymore," scrap and go to something else. Kind of thing. You know, so we know a judging and I'm 46% judging. At 46% my personality trait, I prefer my personality trait, prefer I'm 46 more percent more of a judging personality trait than a perceiving. So for me, I know when someone touches my things. Really weird. I have my my book in a particular order. You shift the book thinking coach would know, but ah, who would touch my things? Someone touched my things. That thing. The judges as well, they oftentimes look at the end goal and don't smell the roses. Woo! A lot of, a, a, a lot of, if you're a father in a room, 
typically, we, I don't know, not everyone, generally, that's, that's what we typically do. It's funny. Because in working a lot, we think, yes, we provide for the family. But however, we're neglecting the family as well. Very interesting. So we, the objective, we look at more so than smell the roses. With perceiving, the journey is what matters. <laughs> but for judging, we're typically more goal-oriented. How we that we will fight through the struggle. Our aim is, honey, you, you, you never with us, honey. I, 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 do you love this, honey? I, I, I do. I'm providing for you. There's food on the table, but you never home. Well, in order for us to have this on our head, I need to do this. That's the struggle. That's the struggle. But we are more goal oriented. Than smelling the roses. How many fathers you know that they attain this this life, but when the person looks to see the family is there, it's not. As perceiving, oh my gosh, trouble, huh? They, I have a house that on the eighth week, human vacation. The eighth week of class, we're on vacation for two weeks. What? You decide to take a vacation 